I think I'm gonna start vlogging. reason why is uh, I actually have been editing the vlogs and posting them from my trip to Japan with Jackie uh, in the summer. Now, at first um, I started to vlog the trip because you know I wanted to remember the moments, remember where we, what, where we went, what we did and it turned out pretty fun. Yeah, so I think there's two reasons why I'm starting. I'm gonna start vlogging. One is to obviously to remember what I did during that time, what my thought process was back then, and you know, just like a reflection point for myself in the future. Uh, number two. I think this is my, my, my biggest reason why I even consider vlogging. Um, after coming to Korea, I've been doing a lot of film for other people. Say music videos, short promotional videos, wedding videos. Every single time, what I struggled with the most was what I thought was right creatively, was obviously not right in their eyes. And I think that's like a difference between you know, working professionally and doing it as a hobby. Because the reason why I decided to study film in the first place was because I picked up a camera, it was really fun filming things with my friends, and I just fell in love with it, and that's why I started. But as I was doing work, I was not able to kind of get the same feeling that I had in what I enjoyed in doing films. While I was editing the vlogs from Japan, I realized, hey, doing video is actually really fun. Like, I had actually forgotten that shooting and editing video was fun for me. Um, before I started working for other people, other people's opinions were opinions. But after, it's, it's not just an opinion anymore, it's a mandate. I have to abide by what they want and what they think is correct. Creatively, that's really frustrating. I think I'm gonna be starting this vlog mostly for that purpose, to kind of alleviate my stress from that mandate. So currently it's 7.50. Every Monday and Thursday, I go down to Dongtan and I play soccer with my dad and his group of pastor friends. I mean, it's not super competitive, it's not super aggressive because trust me, playing soccer in Korea is pretty, pretty darn um, aggressive. People will always yell, people will always get disappointed and stuff like that and but um, it's a group of pastors so it's it's a little it's a little bit better um, it's not perfect but it is better than you know other other groups uh, yeah so I'm heading there right now uh, to play soccer <laughs> to see stretch going on. Oh yeah, I know. No Shave November happened. Jackie absolutely hates it. Just finished playing soccer. I'm gonna head over and eat some. For lunch. God, I'm so tired. I haven't played soccer in so long. So tired. And my house is on the fourth floor. There's no elevators. Oh my leg. Gotta climb up. Fourth 
flights of stairs. Oh, almost there. Third floor. One more to go. Just picked up Jackie from work. And she's got her new glasses. They look like twins. Mm -hmm. Yay! So I'm just gonna prepare dinner, but nothing special today. In Korea, there's this. Yes. Spam kimchi fried rice. Best thing in the world. This is a day in a life of Jackie. Complete with Kim and YouTube. Sorry, with me. here now I'm editing the the Japan video still and I think I'm gonna start editing today's video pretty uneventful day but uh, hopefully I'll, I, I'll do something more productive tomorrow like my my tutor has been pretty slow lately so I have had a lot of time on my hands so I'm gonna try to use this um, opportunity to go see more places that I haven't been to near my house. I've lived in Suwon for close to three years now and I really haven't been around much. So I really don't know what's around the area. So I'm gonna kinda probably use tomorrow to kinda check out Suwon, be more productive. Bye, do, do, I, say, do I say bye? This is weird. I don't know, I'm done. Oh, my God.